Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing a bottle of beer with a big round stick ballpoint pen. And in my Soho Urban Artist sketchbook that I have right here. I am planning to make this bottle of beer have a face, a mouth, a nose. I'm basically making this bottle of beer look alive. That's the plan at least for this drawing in today's video. And I am, well, looking forward to drawing the bottle of beer in today's video, that is for sure. But... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get my sketchbook all opened up to the nearest open page. And then after that, let's go ahead and get to drawing, I do suppose. Here we go. Nearest open page. Here we are. Let's go ahead, center this in the middle of the uh, camera and everything like that. And now let's go ahead and get to drawing this bottle of beer that I'm going to be drawing in today's video. Starting off with the... Uh, I guess like a opening. I'm, this, this bottle of beer is already open. Doesn't have a lid on it or a cap on it or anything like that kind of thing. It's already been opened. So let's just go ahead and kind of start it like that kind of thing. Just like that. There we go. And let's just bring it down just a little bit. Bring it down just a little bit. And I'm just going to have that kind of come out just like that kind of thing. And it's going to do the same thing on the other side just like that kind of thing. Not quite perfect, but we'll see if I want to continue with it. There we go. Do I want to continue with this even though this is pretty uneven? You know what? I could totally see some like craft brewery or go or something like that kind of thing going for like some funky shaped bottle or something like that kind of thing. And so as such, this is no longer just a beer. This is a craft beer with a funky bottle. <laughs> it's a craft beer with a funky bottle, which makes sense because this is also going to have a face on it. So of course, it's a craft beer not only with a funky bottle, but also with a funky design on it and everything like that kind of thing. Craft beer breweries, they'd be doing that stuff. I don't know why in all honesty. They'd be, they'd be doing the most for not even supplying that good of beer. I don't get it in all honesty. Uh, let's go ahead, though, and uh, just draw a little bit of a label right here kind of thing. Just a little bit of a label right there, just like that. And it's just going to say beer on it. B-E-E-R. -E -E there we go. Beer, just like that kind of thing. And now I'm going to go and put another label right there just like that and below that i'm going to go ahead and put a nose uh, two eyes and a mouth going all the way across Some eyebrows, of course, as well. Some little other details. And maybe one more label, like right here. Just like that kind of thing. And now let's go ahead and give the bottle some legs. Just like that. And some arms as well. Just like that kind of thing. And there we go. The main design is all done. I've got to go and add some text uh, right, right here and right here. But after that, uh, the main design will all be done. And I'm just going to be going over all the lines once again, just to make the drawing just look a little bit more distinct and whatnot. Now let's go ahead and figure out what text I want to put right here, though. I'm thinking maybe I want this beer to be branded as a live beer. With two E's because, yes, a live beer. And no, actually. So, yeah, it says a live beer. No, actually, it actually is alive. Yeah. There we go. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. <laughs> I actually like, I actually like what's on the labels. Um, let's go ahead. And start going over all the lines once again, though, uh, just to make them look a little bit more distinct and whatnot kind of thing.
And there we go. My goal is to pretty much just give it a sort of um, more distinct, more sketchy sort of look. That's kind of my plan. And just to thicken up the lines in general as well kind of thing. So like this line right here, not nearly as thick as I want it to be. So let's just go and fix that real quick. Same with like this area right here. Let's go ahead and now work on the legs. Make those a little bit thicker, maybe make the feet a little bit longer as well kind of thing. Just like that. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start working all the details uh, that are actually... Actually, I kind of want to do something up here as well. I kind of want to make it like a little bit... Like a design right here or something. I don't know. I don't know, I tried to do something with that. I don't really feel like it worked. Actually, I do kind of feel like it actually worked actually kind of well. That's now thicker. Actually, I kind of like how that looks. I kind of like how that looks better than I did before, actually. So I did that by accident, but I cannot complain. That is for sure. Let's go ahead and now start um, just darkening up all the details inside the uh, bottle itself, though. And I think that's pretty much everything. Let me just go ahead and check, just make sure there's nothing else I want to do. Let me just kind of stand up real quick, just take a look at it. 
just uh, from a distance, just a little bit, just uh, from a slightly different perspective. I think that's most everything I want to do. I'm thinking there are some minor areas I want to clean up, like right here. I want to make that just a little bit darker, a little bit thicker over here as well kind of thing. Same over here, just make that a little bit darker, a little bit thicker. Right here as well, make that a little bit darker, a little bit thicker. Same up here. Same right here. Alrighty, but more so than not, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. Well, I can't complain. I'm pretty happy with this drawing, that is for sure, I will admit. I uh, really do have no complaints on my behalf. There's really no constructive criticism I actually have for myself. Well, there is some, but it's more things that I don't mind rather than things I really have issues with. Um, just some constructive criticism, of course, the um, haphazard bottle, um, like one side being completely different than the other. I think it gives it, I think it gives the drawing some personality. I don't think it really matters in all honesty, but that is some constructive criticism that I definitely want to be more careful to, uh, I definitely want to be more careful to avoid stuff like that in the future. That is for sure. I'm talking about like constructive criticism for this and I'm like fixing issues as I'm doing that. Um, but like other than stuff like that kind of thing, uh, like with the A-L-I-V-E-E -E kind of thing, like I just should have should have been better about spacing out the text or like doing the text a little bit different and everything like that kind of thing. But it's not something I'm terribly worried about, that is for sure. And I think it gives the drawing some personality. So, you know, I'd have to say more so than not. I do like this drawing and uh, I like it a decent amount. I'm a fan. I'm a fan that is for sure. I'm just going to go and fix up some more of this stuff. So I, I'm just noticing more things that are bothering me as I continue talking. I cannot believe me. I just, I was just talking about, oh yeah, I'm, I'm like just about done. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this kind of thing. And then here I am fixing up all this minor stuff over here kind of thing. I cannot believe me. You know what I'm saying? I cannot believe me. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing right here. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, of course, if you guys have enjoyed watching this video and if you guys like this drawing, uh, of course, please make sure to all like and subscribe for more content. I have my uh, Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my... Um, what was I about to say? And my... Uh, my... Uh, main channel, all in the description down below. You guys should definitely go check it all out, of course. But uh, yeah... Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?